This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Interrogator Barricade. Uh, well, as everybody knows, this guy did not appear in the Revenge of the Fallen movie, but rather he appeared in the first movie. Um, and on a figure standpoint, on a toys uh, standpoint, it is the exact same figure that Hasbro released back in 2007 show you the mold was just re-released I think or they just took all the old barricades from their packaging from their movie one packaging and repackaged them uh, in the Revenge of the Fallen uh, packaging and replaced the uh, frenzy uh, frenzy accessory with these uh, interrogator arms uh, the 207 barricade had a gimmick that uh, well, his grill had popped out and turned transformed into frenzy. Not that, not the greatest gimmicks of all, but uh, you know, they were partners <laughs> in the first movie. So <clears throat> we'll leave it as that. Okay. If you notice, every single detail, nothing has changed. They didn't even use the premium series. I guess, I don't know. I guess the first one was really better. Uh, even the numbers are the same. Every single paint application is the same. The only difference I will say is somehow the, the, new, the head sculpt on this one is a lot duller. If you notice... Oops, let me show you in the camera. Um, let me get rid of this. Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, this one is a lot shinier and darker than this one. This one is sort of like an old head sculpt. See? It's, it's lighter. This one's darker. It's got more gold here. This one is faded gold. So, I don't know. I don't know what Hasbro was thinking with this. Okay, let me just set him there. Uh, yeah, you could. I could literally just replace the accessories and keep this one as the interrogator barricade. Okay, but let's get rid of this guy first. All right, and focus on this one. Uh, the other thing I noticed is all the joints on this one is a lot more loose, at least from the waist down. Uh, upper joints are okay. Uh, he still has that gimmick, that, you know, it's the lousiest gimmick, lamest gimmick I've ever seen, but it is there. Um, yeah, but the, the torso down, the waist down joints are just the loosest joints ever. I don't know, maybe they've used this, this mold one too many times, that's why it's pretty loose. Very hard to stand him up, or just cave in. Um, and also, again, the same complaint I ha I've had with this figure, if you've seen my other reviews of the barricade figures, is that this figure has no waist or head articulation, thus rendering any other pose ability, po any other pose or pose ability, uh, capability, uh, useless, except for a front-facing pose. You can't pose... There's no way he can look left and right with a waist without the waist or, or head articulation. So he's always going to be facing facing front when you're posing him. Which, well, given the fact that he is a wonderful figure, probably one of the most popular figures in the first movie, I guess it's sort of forgivable. Okay, now the claws, they didn't really come out of his shoulders. They came out here, but the toy allows you to mount the claws and just jam them in between those two panels of the bonnet and he can have shoulder arms not like you'd, you'd need that right so let me just get rid of that for a while uh, okay and let's everything's the same about this guy so no need to talk about him too much let's transform him transformation is very simple again you know just like the G1 I'll just sorry just like the movie one figure it's exactly the same you can start with the bonnet and the windshield and the roof. Straighten out the arms, fold in the fingers. And yeah, let's not go through. 
too much of this transformation because everybody knows this, right? Okay. Just put it there. Then detach the waist. Okay. Uh, fold the spikes in. Okay. Fold the legs. Okay. It's a little bit like this. Okay. Join the feet together. I mean, you could have you know, you could have expect them to do a little bit more paint application, but no, Hasbro was too lazy to do anything about with this figure and just decided to repackage it with a new accessory, which is fine. You know, I love Barricade, big fan of the, big, big fan of the, uh, the character in, in the first movie. So I'm presuming, because he's no longer in the second movie, that somehow Bumblebee's uh, defeat of him left him close to dead. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just join these two together. Okay, sorry I'm taking too long. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, and then lastly, just uh, collapse the arms to the side. Mm -hmm. And then join them. Join the peg them in to the foot, to the feet, or the legs. If it will allow me. Okay. 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 One side's done. Now the next one. Okay. And there is interrogator barricade, or movie one barricade the same mode in his saline police car alt mode very nice still you know you still get the same aura that the old figure had i mean because it is the old figure uh it still has the the, the detail of to punish and enslave obviously this is not the premium barricade because the windows are clear and there's no silver application of paint Okay, uh, where Frenzy would have been in the first figure, you have this one instead. Um, the Sandwich Wiki from the Movie Alliance Bumblebee is not in scale with this figure. Uh, because it's a deluxe figure. That that uh, Sandwich Wiki figure is in scale with a Voyager figure. So, it'd be pointless to put him here because he'd be too big. Okay. Uh, so, the uh, the arms sort of go this way uh, they were supposed to have come out from his uh, headlamps and these were the supposed headlamps that became eyes and this is what you're really paying for this 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 mode this interrogator mode is what you're you're buying you're paying for um, I I was skeptical at first you know I didn't think it would be as great but it, it turns out it's pretty okay you get some upward articulation from the arms it does rotate uh, because of the transformation later on which I will show and it can move a little bit side to side, inward or a little bit to the side that's it that's all the arm does now um, I was gonna rate this figure very low because I thought the arms just stuck out there and it's forever stuck like they're in alt mode but the instruction said you can actually fold the arms inside and transform it into a grill which is pretty awesome so um, you just fold everything in okay Oop. okay and this is what really made uh, sold this figure to me I mean, you can fold the arms. The sp there's enough space in there to actually fit all the arms. And he is back in regular barricade mode. Amazing. I, I, it's a small thing, I know. It probably is not going to sell you on this figure or have you sold on him. But I, which is really, you know, as with most fans, they really didn't care about this figure. But to me, I, I thought that little bit, you know, just did it for me. And, you know... It's a, I'm a big fan of Barricade, and now I have four molds of him. And, you know, it's it's nice to have this this bit of uh, accessory to, to add on to him. But if, if, you're, if you already have too many Barricades, I say wait for this guy on clearance. If you don't have a Barricade yet, this is a 
a very good figure to begin your barricade collection with. So there you have it, Revenge of the Fallen, Terrigator Barricade.